In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create geometric shapes using C Sharp and specifically the graphics class. And what you should be able to do from this is learn how lines, rectangles, ellipses, polygons, even text is drawn onto the screen. And then you're going to take that and you're going to create your own unique picture out of it, like the one that you see here. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up Visual Studio and click on New Project. And down here where it says Name, you can call this the Shapes Program. And make sure that C Sharp is selected as your template. And this is going to be a Forms application. And then click OK. To begin setting up our project, we're going to click anywhere in the Design View and then push Alt-Enter on your keyboard or right-click and select Properties. That should bring up the Properties panel somewhere in Visual Studio for you. And at the top of it, you should see Form 1. If you do not see Form 1 selected, then you need to just click anywhere on Form 1 so that it shows up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the form to be drawn to. We're going to use Form 1 like it's a canvas. And to do that, we need to access the paint method for this form. To do that, we're going to switch our properties panel into alphabetical mode. So just click this A to Z icon right here, and we're going to change it from the properties list to the events list. So the little thunderbolt icon right here, click that. And since this is alphabetized, you should be able to scroll about halfway down and locate the paint method. So this is going to manage all of the drawing of the shapes onto our form. So I'm going to double click in this box, and it's going to create what's called a method stub. That's a blank method. There's nothing in it. This is the name of the method, and it takes a couple of parameters here. And we're going to access this one shortly. So the main subject of this video is the graphics class. So I'm going to create a graphics variable first. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the word graphics. So this is going to be our data type. And then I have to give it a name. And I'm going to call this one G. So G is the name of our variable. And it, refer it basically represents a graphics object. Which graphics object is it going to re represent? Well, it's going to be E.graphics. And that basically is the, uh, this is the uh, graphics painting argument being passed to this method. So the object in memory that is drawing everything, this is what it's pointing to. All right, the other thing that I wanted to do to set this form up is set its width and height. We can do that right in the constructor. So right underneath Initialize Component, I'm going to add an extra line, and I'm going to say this. And that's a keyword that refers to this object in memory. In other words, when Form 1 is created and being built, and we could have many copies of Form 1 on the screen, so this particular copy, I want to set its width property to 500, and this dot height, so that's its height property, to 500. So every copy of the Form 1, it will set that particular co copy in memory to a width of 500 and a height of 500. Now this also could have been done in the design view, but everything we're doing in this video is basically going to be on the code side of things. To begin drawing shapes, you need to specify either the program is going to use a pen or a brush. A pen will draw the outline of a shape, and a brush will paint the interior of a shape. And that's the major difference. So to make a pen, you just specify that you're going to have a pen, and then you give it a name, like my pen. And it's going to be a new copy of the pen class. And in between parentheses, it specifies in our little pop-up here that I have to specify a brush, basically a color. So if I just said color dot, uh, let me pick black for our brush, or for our pen. Uh, then I'm going to make a brush. And to make a brush, it's basically the same thing. But you'll say, um, let me give it a name of my brush. And then it's going to be a new solid brush. And its color will be red. 
All right, so once again, the difference between these two things is this will paint the uh, exterior, and this one will paint the interior of an object. Okay, so now to put these to good use, we need to know how the program can draw a particular shape. Let's start with a line. Now, to illustrate this, you need to be able to think of your canvas or your form, whatever you're going to draw on, as a coordinate plane. And the top left corner here is your 0, 0 coordinate. And your x-axis along the top here, uh, the numbers are going to get larger as you go to the right. And with the y-axis, as you go down, your numbers will get larger. And that might be a little bit different from what you're used to in geometry class, but that's going to be how it works here in our form. So now if I wanted to connect two points, the way that the draw a line method is going to work is that, for instance, if I picked this point right here, so this would be 1, 2 over on the x-axis, and 1, 2 down on the y-axis, this would be coordinate 2, 2. And if I wanted to connect that with, for instance, right here, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4 over on the x-axis. So I'll put a little 4 right there. And it's 1 down on the y-axis. So 1 goes right here. And all I have to do is specify that I want to connect from 2, 2 to 4, 1, and the computer will draw a line connecting those two points. It's that easy. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that here. I'm going to say g dot. So g is our graphics variable. And then when I start typing draw, you can see draw line appears in my pop-up list. And then I'm going to say, do I want to draw with my pen? Yes, I do. So I'm going to say my pen. And then it's going to ask here for point 0.1, point 0.2. And if I were using points, a point represents a pair. So that would be another version of the draw line method that I could use. But in this case, I'm just going to specify all four. So here I wanted to specify from 2, 2 to 4, 1 oops, in my form. That's going to draw a line. I can go ahead and push play and actually see this. It's super tiny up here in the upper left because it's pixel based. That is really small. So let me make this a lot larger. Let me say that this is going to go from, uh, let's say, 0.22 down to uh, 400. And on the y-axis, let's make this 450. And push start. And now you can see a much larger line. Okay, so keep in mind that this is a uh, unit of measure in pixels. So if you had something super small, like in my coordinate example here, it might be very unnoticeable. Okay, so that's how you draw a line. Now for the rest of these, I would like you to be able to look these up in in the API, so that's your reference guide for C Sharp, and on the assignment page, I have a link to it. So right here it says MSDN's graphics class. Click this link, and it will show you how to make lines and rectangles and ellipses and polygons. So here's the graphics class. It's actually pretty extensive. Uh, if I went to the top, it says that this encapsulates the GDI drawing surface, and it comes from the system.drawing uh, namespace. Well, basically all that means is these are all the methods for drawing stuff like arcs and curves, lines, pretty much you name it. Okay, we just did this method right here. You can see there's one draw line method and it took four integers. There was also the point to point version and then there's a couple others. So 
when you click on one of these, I'll click on the one that we just demonstrated, it will show you exactly how it works. For instance, here's x1, y1, and then we drew all the way over to x2 and y2. And it'll tell you that up top, it draws a line connecting the two points specified by coordinate pairs. All right, so what if we wanted to draw a rectangle? Let's find the rectangle here. Well, there's a couple of rectangle methods here. We could use this one right here, which operates in the same manner. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on Draw a Rectangle. It says, draws a rectangle specified by a coordinate pair with a width and a height. So all we have to do is specify where to begin drawing the rectangle, for instance, x and y coordinate, and then specify the width and the height. So it works like this. Basically, if we pick a spot such as, let me pick this dot right here. All right, so this is, so this was 4, so this is 5, 6. This is coordinate 6, 1. And we said that this was going to be a width of 2 and a height of 2. Then it knows to start here, and we want a line. If it's a rectangle, it will draw a line here and a line here here because it knows that the height is 2 so the lines are going to go across here and then we would obviously want a line down here and a line down here so all we have to do is specify this one point and it can draw the rest and that's how the draw rectangle is going to work so let's go ahead and try this out in code so to draw the rectangle I'm going to say g dot draw rectangle and here I'm going to say my pen. And then I'm going to give it those four values. So uh, let me make this a little larger. I'm going to say that this is going to be at 100 and 100. So that's where we're going to put it. That's the x and y coordinate. And let's give it a width of, well, let me do something different. 200 and 150. All right, so that's going to be its width and its height. All right, put a little semicolon at the end, save it, and show it. All right, so there is our rectangle. All right, now what if I wanted to draw a circle? All right, so let's try a circle. Well, they don't have a circle method in this list, but what they do have are ellipses. And if we just made the ellipse have the same width and height, we will end up drawing a circle. So let me find the ellipse, so I have to scroll up. All right, so here's the ellipse, and you have a couple of choices here. We can basically draw an ellipse, and it's defined by a bounding rectangle. So basically, it's going to draw a rectangle, and within that rectangle, it will draw a circle. So the way that that works is, let's say we wanted to draw an ellipse in this circle, since it has an um, equal width and height, so this is 2 by 2, it will then draw a circle within this bounding box. So it's going to just draw like this in that bounding box. If the rectangle was more like this, all right, so here is one that is longer than it is tall, then the ellipse would be a little bit more elongated like that. All right, so this is how an ellipse works. Let's go ahead and do that in code. So I'm going to say g dot draw ellipse, and I'm going to specify a pen, like my pen, and then I have to give it the rectangle. So let's go ahead and just uh, put somewhere else, let me say 200 by 200, All right, so this could be a little bit lower than the other one, uh, and that would actually overlap, so I guess let me... Let me move this over to 300 on the x-axis. And then the width and the height. All right, so let's make this 50 by 50. All right, so that would be a circle. Let me go ahead and play it. Oh, I forgot my semicolon. Let me add that and play it again. All right, so there is our circle right there. And... One more thing that I'm going to show you here in terms of shapes, and that is the arc. The arc can sometimes be a little confusing, uh, but 
once you figure it out, it's not that bad. All right, so for an arc, we draw an arc representing a portion of that ellipse specified by a pair of coordinates, the width and the height. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and you'll see some other stuff here. The two things that are a little difficult for some students to catch on to is the starting angle and the sweep angle. So basically, it's everything we just did with the ellipse, but it wants to know where we want to start and end. So the way that this works is let's pretend that we have a rectangle again. In this case, it's going to be just a perfect circle here. The ellipse drew like this. And the starting position of the ellipse is actually right here. All right, so however many degrees that we specify from the x-axis, like cutting through the middle, it's going to draw clockwise around. So if I said that I wanted it to draw an ellipse from, uh, from the starting position of 0, which is right here, to 90 degrees, it would draw from here down to there. All right, so this would be 90 degrees. So 0, 90, and then if I wanted to come all the way over here, this would be 180. 180, all right. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that in code. So I would say g dot draw arc using my pen, and let's put this in the upper right. So this would be like uh, maybe 400 by uh, 100 and so that's where we're going to put it in the upper right and we'll put it uh, we'll make it in a bounding box of 50 by 50 and the starting angle will be zero like I just specified and go for 90 degrees all right so we're just going to go ahead and save that and push play and here you can see it went from 0 on the right side down to 90. If I were to change this to 180, then as I demonstrated here, this is going to be a full half circle. All right, so let me go back to the program and push play. All right, so here's our half circle. And we could even go in negative direction. So if we went from 0 to negative 90, this goes in the other direction for your sweep angle. So you can use that draw arc in that manner. All right, the last thing that I want to show you is how to draw a string. So let's go ahead and look that up in the API. So let me go ahead and click this and find draw string. So this is alphabetical. So I want to find that down here. All right, so basically I need to uh, use one of these drawstring methods. I'll click on the top one. And here it says it draws the specified text string at the specified location with the specified brush and font. All right, so an easy way to do this is to just take a look at the example. And as a matter of fact, we can just copy straight out of the example right here and paste that into our code. So the first thing it wants is what do you want to say? Well, we'll just say sample text. Uh, what kind of font do you want to use? Well, we have to specify the font. So we want Arial, 16 point, and then uh, let's just use the brush that we've been using. So I'll just delete that and replace that with my brush. And then we have to specify some points. All right, so this would be our X and our Y coordinate right there. All right, and then if I just replaced this with the letter G, just to keep it consistent with what we did. So this is our graphics variable. We say draw string, draw, sample text. I could easily just replace that with hello world. And then I wouldn't even need this. I just need to specify the font and the draw point and push play. All right, and it'll say hello world in the middle of our form. Okay, so this has been an overview. Your job next is to create your own picture, similar to something like I did here, that uses at least lines, rectangles, ellipses, polygons, and text in any combination that you see fit so that you create a scene 
with all of these shapes.